What is good, everybody? For those who aren't familiar with this channel, I am Max, the part-time pit master, and y'all are watching Part-Timers Pit Barbecue. And on this episode, we're gonna be working with this pork shoulder here. I got a binder on there. I got some homemade rub. I'm gonna show you how I did that. And uh, yeah, enough of me talking. I'm gonna get this thing wrapped up, put in the fridge so it can rest overnight. And y'all can watch how we got to this point right here. So yeah, let's do it. For the rub, we got Lowry's and kosher salt. We got black pepper, whole heap of that. We got garlic powder and a lot of paprika. We got cayenne and chipotle powder and brown sugar to bring everything all together. Good morning, everybody. Got the PK set up for indirect cooking. Got the chimney uh, heating up. So we're getting ready to fire this up. Let's go. So we got our fire going here. We got our charcoal on one side. And then we got our cool zone on the other. So this is our indirect cooking. I'm going with a couple chunks of cherry wood off of the jump. Then I got a stick of oak, another cherry. That's probably all the wood we're gonna gill with here because we don't want it to be too crazy smoky. So here's our pork shoulder. We're gonna get it on. We're gonna go bone side. So there's the boat right there towards the fire, all right? So that bone's gonna help protect everything there. We're going fat cap up. We're ready to rock and roll. Now right, let's close it up. Temperature I'm aiming for, I wanna do like 275, 300. So just keep these back here so they can warm up a bit. Let's go, close it up. Okay, so our pork shoulder is on the PK. We are around 285, 300 degrees. I closed the top down just a bit. Bottom vent is wide open. We're gonna go inside. I'm gonna make a mop sauce. And we'll be back to check on this thing in about like two hours. And for the mop sauce, we're gonna start off with some oil. I got some avocado oil here, but vegetable oil or olive oil will work just fine. Then you gotta have your apple cider vinegar or regular vinegar, but you need that acid in that tang. And then we got some lemon juice and we got some yellow mustard and some hot sauce. And I like to use the Cholulas. You gotta throw in some chili flakes. And we're gonna mix this all together, kind of combine it a bit. And then we're gonna add the brown sugar. Now you need a pretty, I like to use a whole heap of brown sugar and it's just gonna add a nice sweetness, kind of round out everything else, the vinegar and everything. So once you mix this together, I like to keep it warm on my stove cause you don't wanna throw cold mop or cold anything on your meat. So yeah, just keep it warm and uh, there you go. Okay, let's take a look. We're about almost two hours in. We're getting some nice color. Whew, a little bit of crisp on this side. So we're gonna actually give this a mop and flip it around. So the last little cherry chunk in there. I always like to keep, it's like a little fire pit uh, doohickey thingy. I usually use this to kind of play with the coals a little bit. But we got our mop sauce that we made. So we are gonna drizzle it around. I try not to mop the fat because I don't want to cool the fat down and slow the rendering process. So I'll just kind of go around the outside. Any little crispy bits here. All right. And now I'll take our fork and our hand. And we're just gonna spin this around. <sighs> So because we are cooking a little hotter, around 300, we will probably have to rotate it around just to 
to make sure we don't burn anything. Awesome. Let's close it up. Let it keep going. And it is time for the wrap. Temperature wise, I am actually not 100% sure. I didn't check the temperature, but you can see the fat cap is splitting. The color is amazing and the fat is nice and rendered. So it's a perfect time to wrap. If I was to guess, it'd probably be in the 170s. So I'm using the mop sauce to add a little moisture and a little bit of flavor to this wrap. We're gonna go wrapping it nice and tight in some foil. If I had a big sheet of foil, I would have used that, but I didn't. So get this wrapped up and we're going back on the pit. All right, y'all. So after we wrap this up, I put it back on the PK. It went for about another hour and a half. At that point I came out, I checked it with my ThermoPro here. It was in the 200s, probing super tender. So uh, now I'm pulling it off. I'm gonna let it rest for a minute on the counter and then I'm throwing it in my oven set to warm until I am ready to chop it up and build these sandwiches. So yeah, I'll bring y'all back at that point. All right, y'all, we got this pork shoulder here. It was a successful cook so far. Tender, woo hoo, -hoo. Tender and jiggly. I'm gonna rip a chunk off, we're gonna chop it up, give it a little taste test, and uh, yeah. And then we'll build up a pork sandwich and we'll dig in. But first, I can't wait. Let's, let me just see here. Okay, well, I think that slides out with no problems at all. Okay, so put that off to the side. Now I just want to take a little chunk, a little chunker. Let's get, let's grab it from there. Just grab a little chunk from here. All right, throw some of that in the mix. All right. I'm gonna put this off to the side and then we'll chop this up. Time for the taste test. I'm going in. Look at this, one sec. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. oh my God. On top of there. And then the perfect barbecue sauce here. Nice, runny. Oh. Got it going for now. Mmm. Come on. Dude. Let me just do a quick little one here and then uh, we'll taste test, right? But I can't stop eating it. Oh my God. Got me rambling. Mm. Chunks of bark in there. Oh, I'm gonna build that sandwich, but. Mm. All right, this is, yeah, I think we killed the.